were hoping that we were scheduling a win when we did this. We, you know, I think everybody tries to get about four or five of those to, to begin the season. We had an incredibly difficult stretch, but uh, when we looked at in current work, we got really concerned because of their the fact they were second in the nation in scoring, um, the fact that they'd beaten Princeton at Princeton, looked at some film of their game against Stephen F. Austin, who beat Virginia Commonwealth in the first round of the tournament last year, and they, they lost on a tip in at the buzzer at Stephen F. Austin. And, you know, they just shot it really well uh, all year long, shooting 48% from the three. I don't know what they were tonight, six for 25, which means that our extended defense was better than it had been. Uh, we got uh, some solid play out of, out of some guys, you know. Turned it over too much, it's a concern. 22 turnovers, something that we've got to get better at. Um, Cedric did a nice job on number four, who was averaging 21 points a game um, during his stretch. Vince had him at stretches too, he had five points tonight. Um, nice win, nice wins. Nice to get back with a win. We now have eight days off prior to playing um, again on uh, a week from, from uh, tomorrow. And then we have Arizona rolling in here. So this week, finals week, is um, a little complex for coaches and staffs and players in terms of when you practice. We'll be off tomorrow. Uh, but uh, need to use this as an opportunity to try to get better with the, uh, the workouts that we have. Um, but uh, I, I like the fact that we were able to get Lou some minutes, Omega some minutes, Irvin Morris some minutes, Hooper Vance some minutes tonight, because we're going to need all those guys throughout the course of the season. And uh, that was that was the intent of the game. But uh, got a lot of respect for what they have done with their program here in two short years. Coach Burmeister um, done a, done a fine job. Any questions? Well, we, we extended really well and uh, to, to one of the great three-point shooting teams in the country and, and uh, didn't give them the looks that they were accustomed to getting. I um, do think it helped us. And, and then our size advantage, our talent advantage helped us on the boards where we, we had a, a dominance on the glass, which was really encouraging. It's pretty exciting to see uh, Omega and uh, Paul Ward kind of lead that little stretch there where Vince is with alley -oop and they're kind of getting up and down. What do you think about yeah, well, you know, they're both really good athletes, Omega and, and Lou Stallworth, and, and and they're learning. They're going to be, be so much better a year from now than they are this year. Um, great speed and quickness. We want them to utilize that in the transition offense, also defensively, and uh, they're both going to be very good at some point. Keep like a little bit about Irvin. He has two three-pointers, 14 points, seven rebounds. Yeah, you know, he had our only two threes. He made them in the first half. Um, Irvin, uh, I can't figure out why he didn't play much at Kent State, and you know, in fact, didn't play at all. He was their thirteenth man. Looks to me like he's got some talent. Um, JUCO guys are not really unlike freshmen when they they come that first year. It's a transition for them. Better athletes, better speed, quickness that they're playing against. They're generally better the second year. Uh, but he's really helped us in stretches, and uh, we think he's going to be a very fine player before he leaves. He's got a lot of. You know, he can drive it, can shoot it, and does some nice things. What does a performance like this tell you about your team this early in the season? Well, you know, I, I, I don't know that you learn as much as you do when you're playing against Washington, uh, when you're playing against Xavier. But what you do learn is about guys that aren't getting the minutes that they're getting in those games. And, and winning is healing, and when everybody's playing, and contributing and guys are pulling for each other, then that's also heals a team as well. Um, you know, turnovers don't help teams. And, and we've got a, that was our highest turnover margin and, and credit Incarnate Word for forcing a lot of those tonight. 48 points in the paint, Coach, did you have more the offense? Yeah, and, it, and that's the way it should have been, Fred, you know, with the size advantage we had. And that was our intent from the start is that we're going to go in there and we're going to keep going in, keep going in. And we can't throw it in, we're going to go drive it in. And, and force them to either foul or, or dump off and go take shots. That's why we only took nine threes tonight. What are some things that you are looking to clean up for next time? Well, the turnovers, they, they jump out at me right now. Um, you know, I'd love for us to get better in transition offense. Uh, I, I thought our three on two and two on one situations tonight were just deplorable, absolutely deplorable. We should have put 100 on the board 
But we had so many of those situations that we just gave away. Everybody will go home and remember Vince's big dunk, but I remember the other nine opportunities that you know, we booted out of bounds or didn't finish the shot. So those things that we'll, we'll spend time on um, and, and valuing the ball and um, offensive basketball. And, and we'll, uh, we're, we're gonna try to work on our conditioning a little bit better. Um, we, we got a lot of things we can work on. Talk about Southeastern Louisiana in your next Well, you know, um, their coach is really good friends of um, my nephew, my sister's son. So I followed his career since he was 22 years old. Um, he's called me 25 times about wanting me to hire him, and I never have. So I'm sure he's going to try to take it out on us in the game. Uh, the guy is a terrific young coach, and the kind of coach that I have a lot of respect for because he paid his dues at the high school level forever and was regarded to be in the top two or three coaches in the state of Mississippi by all accounts. Anybody you ever talked to, Richard Williams helped tutor him. Richard took a team to the Final Four at Mississippi State. Um, he left there and he got an opportunity at Jones Mississippi Junior College. And in the history of junior college basketball, no Mississippi team has ever won a Ju JUCO title. And he won a junior college title in his second year there, so he obviously knows what he's doing. Uh, they, got, they got crunched pretty good in their first two games out. Uh, but I've noticed that they just continue to get better and better and better and value the ball. Uh, they got a really nice young backcourt player who transferred from Murray State, Zach something, Zach Landry, I think. Um, don't know a great deal about their personnel. I think he brought a couple of the JUCO guys with him from the national title team. Um, but he knows how to coach, and they'll be very disciplined. They'll play well. They'll play smart. But I haven't seen them on film.